when it came to the time of Kumbh Mela in 1977, Bhavananda Prabhu invited Bhakti Charu Maharaj to come with him to meet Srila Prabhupada. And I consider this to be something very special because our sampradaya, we are all rupanugas, which means our very purpose in life and the means of all of our spiritual progress is in following in the footsteps of Srila Rupa Goswami. It was at the same time of the year, the month of Magh, during a Mela, that Rupa Goswami met Lord Chaitanya at Prayag. And it was there that Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed Rupa Goswami for about 10 days on the banks of the river Ganga, Yamuna and Saraswati. And it was there that Lord Chaitanya gave the seeds of knowledge and wisdom and grace in which the nectar of devotion could be written and so many other transcendental literatures of Rupa Goswami. So Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, his first connection through Vani of Srila Prabhupada was reading Nectar of Devotion. And his first physical association with Srila Prabhupada was at the very place where Lord Chaitanya spoke and empowered Rupa Goswami to write the Nectar of Devotion, the Bhakti Dasamrita Sindhu. It was there at Prayag that Bhakti Charu Maharaj had the opportunity to personally hear from Srila Prabhupada. In the background, personally render services to Srila Prabhupada. And through the mercy of the Vaishnavas, connected with the Kumbha Mela, on the train returning back to Calcutta is where Bhakti Charu Maharaj was given one of the most intimate, historical, special services to Srila Prabhupada's heart. The nectar of devotion and the teachings of Lord Chaitanya to Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami were given in Bengali and Sanskrit. Srila Prabhupada, he lived at Prayag too. He had his Prayag pharmacy. In fact, his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada, was given both first and second initiation at Prayag by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada at the Rupanuga Gaudiya Math. Srila Prabhupada was initiated by Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur in the same place that Rupa Goswami was given teachings and mercy and blessings by Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And that is where Bhakti Charu Maharaj had his first personal physical contact with Srila Prabhupada. And it was at that time he was given this instruction to translate Srila Prabhupada's books, all of them, in the Bengali language. Now, Srila Prabhupada's books by that time, 1977, were being translated in many languages of the world. But Bengali was the very language of Srila Prabhupada's own native tongue. It was the language of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda and Gadad Harpandit and Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and Bhakti Vinod Thakur and the six Goswamis and Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. They were all coming from that Bengali background. 
Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Sri Chaitanya Bhagavat are primarily written in Bengali with profuse Sanskrit verses. Srila Prabhupada translated from the Sanskrit and Bengali to English. And now for the first time, he's asking someone to translate these books into the original language of Bengali. Srila Prabhupada had just met Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj. He was not even initiated, and yet Srila Prabhupada could see something in him. He could appreciate him so in such a special way that he gave him this very intimate personal service. Like taking water from the Ganges and offering it back to the Ganges. The literatures like Chaitanya Charitamrita were coming from Bengali, given to the world by Srila Prabhupada, and Prabhupada is now offering it back into the Bengali language through the loving heart of Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj. Now, translating all his books is really a task. All the Srimad Bhagavatam, all the Chaitanya Charitamrita, the Nectar of Devotion, the Sri Ishopanishad, all the small books, Bhagavad Gita. But Bhakti Charu Maharaj immediately accepted the service. He tells how he considered himself totally unqualified. And that's how he felt. But Srila Prabhupada saw that his feeling himself unqualified was his qualification. Because when we really feel ourselves unqualified, but we're sincere and we're serious and we're willing to give our life without ulterior motives, then Krishna and Guru empowers us. Srila Prabhupada told him that if you just do it through your practice, you will learn. What he was really saying, if you just surrender to my instruction, I will, I will empower you. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.